All right, let me start with 18-game regular season. What has to happen for that to happen in the NFL? Well, the union has to agree to it, first and foremost, because the union initially didn't want 17 games, but once they developed the impression that the league would lock the players out to get to 17 games, then prior union leadership came up with a deal that was a win-win for the players. You look at where the salary cap is right now, That's one of the benefits of agreeing to play 17 games. This current labor deal goes until the end of the decade. I think that's when the NFL starts making the push for 18. And the reason that it hit my radar screen last week, I mean, when you're immersed in the NFL at the scouting combine for four or five days, you pick some things up. Andrew Barry, the GM of the Browns on PFT Live, said that they're proposing a delay of the trade deadline by two weeks, one to account for the 17th game and one in anticipation of an 18th game, which got our attention, I started talking to some other people. And they're like, yeah, it's just a matter of time before the NFL tries to get 18 games. But it can't happen until the, uh, what, 2030? It can in theory. That's one of the things that I think becomes a misconception about the union-NFL relationship. They can come up with any agreement they want at any time for anything. They can have side letters. They can rip up the CBA and write a new one whenever they want. They basically did it for COVID. They came up with a new CBA within the CBA when they were trying to figure out how to deal with the financial losses and the impact there. They could do it whenever they want. But I think the the best time to fully squeeze the players to go along with it, if you're the league, would be when this CBA expires. But you can't rule out the possibility of an acceleration. They want 18. They've wanted 18 for years. They settled for 17. 